Greetings and welcome to 1130 Tech. Today we are going to continue the saga of the keyboard retrofit adapter. As you can see here, my screw has stripped out and is no longer providing enough torque to keep this upright. So what I'm going to try today is to use some brass threaded inserts to see if I can put that in the hole where the screw is, put another screw in there and torque it down. Might be that one there, it might be this one, could be these guys, or perhaps these guys. It's hard to say without knowing. I'm Earl Cannonbear. Let's do the stuff with the things. Okay, so I have here on my table the stripped uh, adapter. Let's see if that's going to come out. It is, and what I'm hoping to do is use one of these in there. And I guess I just don't know which one of these it's going to be. Ah! That might work, actually. Ooh. That might be just a little bit too small. So let's see if we have, so that one's definitely too big. Let's see if we've got a uh, middle ground here. Um, yes, M3, oh great, that's kind of cheap. That actually, actually maybe one more. I don't know if there's a front or back. I've never actually used these, so. Actually, no, that's, that's more like it. So now what I need to do is find my heat source, which I'm going to use a soldering iron, and we'll see if we can just plop that sucker in there. All right, let's see if I can find a soldering iron. <laughs> okay, so I don't really have any idea where the soldering gun is. Soldering iron, so we're going to have to just kind of Look around. I'm going to check the garage. Okay, we are back, and it uh, turns out I don't have a uh, soldering iron, so I had to go out and get one real quick. <clears throat> I think I took all of my soldering irons to work, so I'm going to blame, blame it on that. Ooh, look at this. Whoa, fancy, fancy little Y holder. So I am going to plug this guy in, get it heated up and see if it f works for the purposes of which we want to use it. So you go there, you can go there, you can go there. Should I, yeah, let's do, let's take that out. This is a bolt in there too, apparently. 
and we'll just see if that works. I'm almost thinking I should maybe do this on the keyboard stand itself, but we'll try this first. That is actually heating up. Heating up in a good, working, good kind of way. So I think, I don't know what actual size this is. I think it's the M3.5 from out of here. So, I don't know how far I can stick that in. So, never done this before. If you've done it before and you know what you're doing and you're cringing watching me do it, sometimes this is just how you gotta learn. Seem to do something there. Yes, that is. Ooh, there we go. Except does that go too far in? Am I gonna be able to get that through the I can sort of see it. See right there. I think that may be too far. I might have to actually pop that out a little bit. That's not going to do it. So I'm not exactly sure how to go back now. All right, we are here, and let's see if we can... Oh, see it just, it's hitting, hitting that. So I am gonna have to maybe put it on in here. So let's go grab the soldering iron and uh, we'll try to fix it. Okay, so let's see. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Maybe if I heat this up and try to just Ease it out, maybe. Or do that and then go in. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Let that cool. Okay, so I think that is cool to the touch anyway. Let's see. If we can get that, we can, good, good. Let's see if we can get that. Up Simba, this keyboard's heavy. Oh. Okay, good. Let's see now. Cool. Okay, let's get this, that looks pretty even. Does this. Oh, I don't see the thread moving or the insert. That may, it's certainly better than it was, that's for sure. I'm afraid to tighten it too much. Nope. Ah. Oh. Well, there's your answer. Super glue, maybe? Yep. Well, there you go. That didn't work. Maybe a bigger one. Okay, so I've grabbed the, the other side that is also broken, or also not working. I'm gonna try the technique 
sticking this into there and then inserting the dilly bar and we'll see if that works any Maybe, maybe. Let it cool, let it cool. The other thing too that I might consider or have to consider is that this is PLA. Um, I may want to print one of these out in ABS with that same size hole. Um, and try that. That might be my next my next move here. Um, yeah. That's more torque than I got in the screw. That actually work. So maybe if I super glue the other one, that might work least to get to get by anyway so yeah that seems to be well, maybe I hate to do one more Titan because I know it's just gonna pull out I just don't think I have enough plastic there for that to grab onto although so not a great solution but at least it fixes what I have So now, let's see. How can I get that to, to stay in? doing before so I expect this to not work but maybe with that new actually I'm getting kind of nice torque on that so just maybe melting the plastic allowed that to re-thread Interesting. Yeah, these are still solid. That's still solid. All right, so there you go. That's one way to fix something afterwards. I guess the question now is, does it still support the K5K? when I put more, when I put it back on. So let's try that.
Well, there you go. There's kind of your answer. I just put the keyboard back on and it certainly doesn't support that. And it's just going to turn. What I did notice is that this must have been one of my first versions of this. So I don't have any extra um, chamfers along that uh, the hole for the screw. So let's see if I move that guy there, you can see, I think this one does. Hard to tell. Yeah, you can see a little bit of build up there at the screw hole. So I am going to print uh, another adapter in uh, ABS and see what happens. So let's try that. Okay, so after printing out in ABS, clearly you can see I was thinking of this and did put quite a bit of uh, extra plastic there on that uh, hole, as you can see. Way more than that guy. Maybe even if I do, yeah, look at that. Now, clearly this was a very early prototype. No even version number. Version number. Derp. So now let's see if we can get this to work. So you go away. You go on and let's take you. And put you there. Yep, this is going to be a thing. Let's use the same technique as before. And hard to uh, hard to see when you're filming at the same time. Okay. So, yep, that is hot, and that, you can really smell that. Oh, ABS, you stink. You're a stinker. Uh, okay, let's let that cool. Okay, so I think that has cooled. Let's see how this does. Yeah, I could probably grab the shorter one but for now that is feeling way better fact, let's get that's because I had tightened my tolerances pretty pretty well on that one to get it so I really don't need a bolt there or a nut excuse me if I don't really want to put one there so beauty hey let's try that again Oh yeah, that's way better. Boom. There you go. So I have the K5K on there now. Oh yeah. That's what we're going to do. All right, I'm going to print. I'm going to print uh, three more of those. All right, well, um, yeah, so It rolls. It's rolling better. See how long that lasts. So like I said, I will probably go ahead and print out three more <clears throat> of those. And yeah, it'll be beauty. Um, so the other thing I'm going to do is 
I'm going to probably scrap this idea for that in my next keyboard and go to something like this. And I'll give you a close up of this here in a second. Um, but this is uh, probably more, more stable, a little bit easier to design uh, than the peg or the bolt uh, wheel. So we will try this uh, for part four. So there you go, guys. That was uh, part three of the continuing saga of the keyboard retrofit adapter wheel caster thing deal. Go ahead, hit that like button if you're still with me. Thanks. This really, really is uh, more for me and my learning experience uh, and to document that. So if someone else is designing something similar and wants to know how not to do it, they can watch this. All right, uh, go ahead and get that, uh, hit that bell icon, get subscribed. Like I said, hit the like button. That really helps the channel out. And I will put links uh, to the hardware I used uh, in the description. Those will probably be, probably be affiliate links. So uh, if you do end up buying them, it supports the channel. So there you go. All right, I'm Earl Canabare. Good day.